Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, this is a 360 video. If you're on your cell phone, use your finger to spin the screen around and you can see everything that I'm seeing. If you're at your desktop, then use your mouse to click on the screen and you can move it around and you can see everything that I'm seeing. Right now, I am downtown Pittsburgh. All right, guys, if you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. And when it comes to women, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself because words only hurt whenever they are true. All right, guys, today I'm going to be talking about what a man needs to understand about a woman when it comes to the no contact rule. I think that you guys need to understand exactly what a woman's thinking whenever it comes to the no contact rule, because I think you guys just look at it selfishly. What do I mean by selfishly? You're looking at it like, all right, if I don't contact her, then she's gonna be this and she's gonna be that. It may not be there. Today, we're gonna be breaking down a lot of moods that women go through whenever you go through a no contact, because the less you say with a woman, the more results you're going to get out of her. And what you're not realizing is it's making you attractive, right? Because women are always walking around seeking information over and over and over and over again. Women are constantly analyzing everything. When they walk down the street, they look at a flower, they're analyzing. They see trash, they're analyzing. Women are constantly analyzing that when it comes to men, most men are asking the same thing and doing the same thing repetitively. So women come in the habit of thinking, I know everything about men because men are saying the same thing. Men are doing the same thing. They're calling me, asking me the same stuff. They want to go to the same places. But when you're doing less, it's intriguing her to say, hold up. Why isn't he doing what the other 99% of guys doing? And in that process, that's not going to be her only thought. All right. That's what we're going to be going through today. Let's get to it. Okay. First, you have to understand with the no contact rule, she's going to become attracted to uncertainty. All right, that's one thing that you guys need to understand that. She's going to be mad that you're not calling. That's going to be her narcissist side where she's mad. Like, what is he doing? Why isn't he calling me? But she's going to become attracted to your uncertainty. See, where a lot of guys have made their mistake, and if you go back and look at all the mistakes that every man has made whenever it comes to a woman, one of the biggest mistakes that most men make with women is trying to convince that woman that she is his only world, that she's the only girl that he wants to be with. She's the only girl that he wants to look at. She's the only thing, right? Granted, it has been programmed through moms and grandmas and has to be unlearned. But now that you learned it, being that you spend so much time telling her, hey, listen, Stop worrying about me. Stop worrying about other guys. Stop worrying about them. Stop worrying about that. What really matters is the fact that I've dedicated my heart and soul into you. That's what you're generally saying to a woman. You're trying to convince her that's the only thing that you want. But when you go in silent mode, the first thing she's going to say is, why is this guy who's so-called like me is not trying to convince me that I'm the only girl that he wants, which means that he must be used to dealing with girls that are prettier than me. A lot, that's what it is. And being that you're used to dealing with girls that are prettier than her, she don't know how long that you're gonna stick around. All right, she don't know how long you're gonna be here. But you may think, oh man, it's sad for her to think that way. I don't want her to think that I got 20 other girls out here. Ding dong. You want her to think that you got 20 other girls out here. The guy that gets all the women has a pile of women waiting for him. Haven't you noticed that? Two type of men that women are not chasing. Men in suits. Like we're downtown right now. Look at that go a guy right there with a suit on. Listen, we're downtown around all these people. You show me one guy with a suit on that has a gang of women just following behind him. And nice guys, the super duper nice guy that's always got to be a gentleman, that's always got a supporter. They never chase those type of guys. They're always chasing the guys who have all the women and feel like they don't need to chase the woman. So your uncertainty when you go through a no contact causes her to feel feel very intrigued with you all right when she's very intrigued with you she's like all right 
this is the guy that all the girls want. I know that because he's not doing what all the 99% of guys are doing. He's actually acting like the 1% of guys who actually get the women. That's what's going to go through her head and it's going to make you more attractive to her because she thinks that other girls are more attractive to you. So that's the first thing that you guys have to understand is that what's rushing through her head is the uncertainty. Why aren't you doing this? Why is it he acting like that? Granted, she's going to show like she has an attitude with that. Believe it or not, she will actually show you that she has an attitude with that. But the more attitude that she shows about your actions, the more attractive you're going to be. This is why the girl that likes you the most is going to actually give you the most attitude at first. And then she's going to fold after that attitude. All right. So understand she's more driven towards your uncertainty than anything. Next, she becomes confused. What do I mean by confused? She don't know what to do. Look at the thought bots looking. This car gets a lot of attention, especially from thoughts. She become confused. Why is it confusing? Because her game plan is not working at all. Women naturally have a game plan whenever it comes to a guy. Whenever it comes to a guy and they first meet him, they're gonna know exactly how long they're gonna be with him, how long they're gonna stay with him, and when they are gonna get rid of him. Period. Most girls are going to do that because they're so used to picking from the litter. They know which guys are going to be able to play the role that they want to play the role. They're going to know exactly what guys that they're going to be able to get over on. Period. That's one thing that's going to go through her head. So when it comes to the guy that she thinks that she's about to get over on, and then it turns around to, all right, you can't get over on me because I'm not giving you enough information to get over on me. She's going to be drawn to it. All right. You got to realize, go back to the beginning. What I was saying, women are always gathering information. When it comes to a guy, the more you talk, the more information she can gather and analyze. When you slow down her information, the more she starts to come in, the more she starts to ask more questions, the more she starts to become attracted to it. And the reason why she's doing it is because she has to conquer. A woman cannot conquer something if they don't have enough information about it. If you wanna conquer something in life, you have to learn everything about it so you know exactly how to grab control over it. That's what she's doing when she's attracted to your uncertainty is that she's trying to grab control over you. Trust me, once you actually get her, she won't even like you anymore. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You must master the art of a woman. Next, she's wondering what you're thinking. All right, you have to understand that she wants your traits, but she also wants to understand what you're thinking. When they start going through this, what will they naturally do? The first thing that a woman's gonna do, she's gonna go all the way back to when you and her first started talking. All right, then she's gonna think about every conversation that led up to the moment to where you're not contacting her, all right? And then she's gonna analyze everything from there. What did I say wrong? What did I do wrong? How did I act wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay, when she starts getting like that, right? What you have to understand is, being that she wants to conquer you, she's trying to think, what type of woman can I become that's just gonna make him melt? That's just gonna make him fall for me. That's just gonna make him love me because right now I'm not getting anything out of this. So I'm thinking that I'm unattracted to him. I'm thinking that I'm not good enough for him. I'm thinking that he has, he's been dealing with better girls. He's been dealing with different type of girls that are better than me. You're attracted because she don't feel like she's worthy of you. And you guys may hear this and you may be like, oh, no, nah, eh, no, nah, eh, you know what I'm saying, eh? Like, uh, no, nah, I want her to know. No, you think what I'm saying is a bad thing, but what I'm saying is actually a good thing. One thing that you guys have to understand with a woman, everything that you've been taught that you think was supposed to work doesn't work. And a lot of you guys are so much in denial. You always have the still to this day, the most singlest nice guy still simping at a, at a, at a, at a grown age. You know how many of you 30, 35, 40 year old guys still haven't gotten a woman to commit to you your whole life, but you just still a nice guy to everybody in the world. I tell guys all the time. 
Before a woman hurts you, before a woman takes advantage of you, a man has already did it. Because nobody has love for the nice guy. Everyone's gonna backstab the nice guy. You know why? Because the nice guy, you're sensitive, you're emotional, you're compassionate. So whenever somebody's feeling down and out, they can always run to the nice person to make themselves feel good about themselves. But then after a while, the same person that you show so much gratitude to, you show so much loyalty to, they turn around and stab you in the back. So if you've been hurt and been played by a woman, just understand you've probably been hurt and played by a man before that. They probably got you in another direction. Less is more whenever it comes to people in general. In general, introverts understand that very well. A lot of you guys claiming you're introverts, you're not really introverts. You're still sheep looking to, to, to you're still sheep looking for a flock to be part of. All right. When you start thinking the same as everybody else, you're going to go backwards. An introvert understand that when it comes to life, it's a dog eat dog world. Only the strong and the smart are going to survive, especially when it comes to women. Why? Because a woman has a superpower over you that you have a hard time getting over. And that's going to be desires. You're going to want to have sex way before you're going to want to do anything better with your life. Why? Because it's a natural attraction. You don't see lions talking about, I want to be a doctor. You don't see lions and animals talking about, let's build up a kingdom. No, that's just the psychology of, a, of human beings, but we still have animalistic traits. So understand, she's still going to be more attracted to the dominant person. You have to be dominant. A king has multiple lioness that are willing to kill for him. But if you get your ass whooped as a lion, you won't have now one lioness that's ready to lay down with you. That's real talk. You have to be dominant enough or no lioness is going to want you. All right. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message. You see downtown Pittsburgh um, about to head back out. I was down here to take care of some business. Now we about to get on the highway. Hasta la vista.